Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video you will learn how to create an asset class in the SAP S4HANA system. Therefore we navigate to transaction code SPRO, click on sub reference IMG and then under financial accounting, asset accounting, organizational structures, asset classes, define asset classes, we can create a new asset class in our SAP S4HANA system. So click on this one. Here you can see already existing asset classes. We can either select one of those and click on copy as. So with that, all the values from the already created asset class will be copied to the new asset class. Or we can deselect this and just click on new entries to create a new asset class. We will do the latter one for now. So let's click on new entries. And then you can see a lot of parameters that we can fill. First of all, we need to provide an ID for the asset class. Let's say this as a class we will call 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can't insert more than 8 digits over here for the asset class. Then we include a description, let's say test asset class, and a short text. Let me just copy this one. By the way, you can always use this particular item to insert even more information for the asset class, but for now this is fine. So now you can see a different sections. First of all, the asset type. We have three different parameters here. The account determination, this is particularly important because in this account determination over here, the different general ledger accounts are stored. And whenever we create a new asset in this particular asset class, then all the assets belonging to this asset class also belong to a certain account determination. Let's just select one, let's say buildings, and via this account determination, the general ledger accounts will be found. I will show you this in another session. Then we have the screen layout rule. So this will actually determine which fields in the asset master we create within this asset class are optional, required or suppressed. I will also make a separate video about the screen layout rule creation in future. Let's just select one, let's say buildings as well. And then we have here an optional field called base unit. So this indicator is used as a unit of measure in which assets belonging to this asset class are created. But this is not optional, so we will leave it as is. Then extremely important, we have the next section called number assignment. Here we need to specify a number range. So meaning that whenever we create an asset in this asset class over here, the asset will receive a certain number depending on the number range we set over here. So let's select one. We will just select this one over here and that's fine. We can also mark external sub number, meaning that when we create an asset that consists of several sub numbers, those sub numbers can be specified by ourselves. If you want to find out more about this topic, please make sure to watch my other video. I will link it in the description of this one explaining the asset master, because in the asset master itself, you can create an asset with a main number and one or several sub numbers. And with this button here, you can say that those sub numbers should be set by you and not by the system. Let's scroll further down. We can see inventory data and a check mark called include asset. So this indicator we can set if we want the asset to be counted in a physical inventory. So the indicator itself will ensure that the asset is included in the standard inventory list for asset accounting and assets created without this indicator in the asset class are not output in this standard report I just told you about. For now, we will just select it. Then you can see the next section called status of AUC. AUC stands for asset under construction. And here you can see no AUC or summary management of AUC, line item settlement or investment measure. And actually this means that if we select the upper one, then it specifies that the asset under construction in this particular asset class we are creating are managed without the option of line item final settlement to receiver assets or cost centers. So in the end, this asset under construction is an asset which is still being built, so to say. For instance, a huge machinery. We can also set it to line item settlement, specifying that assets under construction in our particular asset class we are creating are managed with the option for final line item settlement to receiving assets or cost centers. I will explain this also in another session. Or last but not least, the investment measure. So this would specify that our assets under construction in our particular asset class can be created solely in relation to the so-called capital investment measures. So those capital investment measures would be either internal orders or WBS elements. But this is a special topic. Then we have the lock status. So here we can actually block the asset class if needed so that no more asset can be created within this asset class. As we are just creating this asset class, I won't set it for now. We have the history status. 
If we set this particular indicator, then we want the system to manage the asset with a history. So this means that the asset is displayed in an asset chart and also the asset and also the values belonging to the asset cannot be reorganized until the asset is finally deactivated. For now, we will leave it as is. Last but not least, you can see real estate indicator for asset class. And here we have actually a drop down menu. We have either zero other assets without real estate management or one real estate property or building. So if we select one over here, then this asset is integrated with the so-called real estate management module of SAP. It's called REFX just for your reference. And if we set zero over here, then this asset class is not integrated with the real estate management. That's basically it. Then in the end, you can click on save and the asset class will be created. This marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.